Um, it actually looks like on the if you've got a long blood vessel going down, you've got little small blood vessels coming in from the outside. They're called vasa vasorum. It's basically a tiny blood supply to the big blood vessel. And these LDL particles actually travel through these small blood vessels and they can lodge into the middle of the wall, what we call the intima, and that's where the, these fatty deposits form. But if your LDL is not oxidized, that process doesn't occur. And the interesting thing is that a high triglyceride level and a low HDL level are really just markers of oxidative stress. That, that's a simple way to think about them. So if we just think about, you know, damaged LDL is what causes the deposition. And if you have a high triglyceride level and a low HDL level, then you're much more likely to have damaged LDL particles. And it really is that simple. And it's, this is well supported by evidence too. So everybody's worried that once you've got these fat deposits in the, the blood vessel wall, well, well, they must be there forever. Well, that's not true. We know that what we call plaque regression is possible. And in observational studies on plaque regression, they actually found that some people were able to get their plaques would actually disappear or they would actually shrink over time. And some people, their plaques would actually get worse. They would actually increase or progress. And what they found was that those people who had plaque progression on average had LDL levels about 50% of those people who had plaque regression. Think about that for a second. We've actually got documented evidence in observational studies that it's possible to reverse these atherosclerotic plaques. And the people with the highest LDL levels are the ones who get reversal. The people with lower LDL levels actually have progression. And I don't know about you, but just that single observation should be enough to debunk this whole LDL myth that all LDL is bad. Yes, LDL can be bad, but only if it's oxidized. If you're otherwise metabolically healthy and it's not oxidized and it's not damaged, then you're going to be okay for the most part. 